Okay. Welcome everyone. So, if I am now working on my counterclaim paragraph. So, the biggest thing you want to keep in mind with a counterclaim paragraph is your goal is to present an argument from the other side and then address it. You're basically communicating why this argument is wrong and why yours is still right. Okay? I think the biggest thing you want to avoid is um, if your opponent is using a logical fallacy, it's fine to point that out in the reasoning. Um, but uh, you want to be a little careful with that. Um, you want to make sure that you are respecting, if you're presenting something your opponent would actually say. Um, otherwise, uh, you don't you don't want to use your own straw man, okay? So here I am on the step. You can do this on paper or on Google Doc. If you want to do it in Google Doc, you just click here. Um, and then you're going to do file, make a copy, and then we're just going to say Brent's CR counterclaim. You're obviously going to put in your name. Brent's CR counterclaim one. Okay? So. Okay. So, claim. Remember, your claim will be the same for all your paragraphs, whether you're doing three, four, five, um, right? Your claim will always be the same. So, my claim is going to be um, schools should not serve chocolate milk at meals. Okay? And as a good English teacher, I'm going to make sure I'm spelling everything right. Chocolate. Okay, so now I need to research a counterclaim. So this is where I'm going to look into, um, you know, what other people are saying about it. Now it's really important with a counterclaim. You don't have to agree. In fact, you probably shouldn't agree with what your counterclaim is, but you want to present a quality argument from the other side. So um, I go to the Plains Dairy. This is actually a dairy group. This is actually a milk distributor. And they're saying why chocolate milk should be a staple in school lunches, okay? So you guys see that I'm going to a respected source on the other side. So let's say I were debating something on gun policy, right? I were to say we should have more strict gun policies. It's okay if I'm presenting an argument from the other side to go to a place like the NRA. Even if you disagree, it's fine because they are respected on their part of the argument, okay? Uh, a similar thing might be, uh, you know, if I were arguing the other way that we should have more guns, I could go to a group like Moms Demand Action and show an argument from them. Doesn't mean you agree with them, uh, doesn't mean you think it's right, but you want to be respectable enough to go to a respected source on the other side. Um, so another example might be uh, if I'm arguing drug policy, right, um, you know, arguing on the other side, maybe I'm going to go to a certain police department, right, that is certainly a respected source on the other side, right, even if we may agree or disagree. Um, so the thing you want to avoid is going to a place like Infowars, right, where nobody respects what they have to say or, you know, no reasonable person does. Um, so it's, you know, you're kind of walking into your own straw man by presenting them. Uh, or on the other side, like going to Gwyneth Paltrow's Goop page, right? No serious person really respects what she has to say. So that would be a fair thing to use as an argument there. Uh, I hope that makes sense. If not, feel free to ask me questions about that. But you want to pick something that some people are going to respect. Okay. So, a staple in school lunches. Chocolate milk is not only delicious, but healthy for most children. I disagree. Whether it's plain or favored, the drink has the same essential ingredients. Vitamin D, calcium, and potassium are just a few of the important nutrients milk contains that kids need as a part of a healthy diet. Here are three reasons why chocolate milk is a great choice for students. Okay? And then we go blah, 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 blah. Uh, chocolate milk attracts kids to a healthier choice. Okay, so here is their argument. Uh, if chocolate milk is offered as a school choice at school, children are more likely to get their three recommended daily servings of dairy. The most popular option for kids is low-fat chocolate milk when given a choice between plain or flavored. A dramatic drop in the consumption of this beverage has been shown when flavored options are removed from schools. This makes it more difficult to, for children to get the essential nutrients they need. Okay? So this is an argument that they are presenting. So I'm going to copy and paste this in my counterclaim. Copy, paste. Now, the other thing I'm going to want to do is if I'm using another source, right? I didn't make this up. So I'm going to want to make sure that I am putting the source somewhere. What I'd recommend you do for now is just put it at the bottom. 
of your page. Um, and then you can come back to this later when you're making your works cited. If you're in English 3 or 4, I'd like it to be MLA. If you're in English 1 or 2, just put it at the end. Just put works cited, put the page. Let me know you got it from somewhere. But remember, if I just were to put this quote in, so this is what I'm going to put, court of claim, according to the um, Plains Dairy, according to Plains Dairy, Right, and now I'm going to put out their quote. Now this is fine. I'm attributing it to who wrote it. Okay, something I'm going to tell you to avoid that often happens in counterclaim paragraphs is putting something like "some people say." Right, and I'm sure you can already see where this is going. If you put "some people say," well, who is saying that? Um, and so that sets up a very, to me, that's a pretty obvious tell that you're about to use a straw man, because if you're not going to give attribution to who's saying it, so you're actually taking on the argument directly, um, that tells me that you're probably not representing a fair argument. So uh, it's important to me that I am actually showing a group that exists that has a respect of people in this um, industry, okay? Or in this argument. Um, so that is my counter claim, okay? Rebuttal. However, however, what they fail to consider, right? However, they fail to consider in stating that more kids choose flavored milk is that this still increases sugar consumption in children, right? Uh, so that's part of my bottle, however, that they'll consider is that, consider and stating that more kids use flavored milk is that this still includes sugar consumption in children. This does not address uh, the issue of um, unhealthy food choices in children, right? Unhealthy food choices for students, right? So basically what I'm saying is, make sure we're spelling everything correctly. Basically what I'm saying is, is that, um, you know, sure, uh, you know, and I could even do this in the reasoning. So reasoning, now let's not forget um, our sentence stems, right? So I put this in your CER steps. Uh, I'm also going to put this back up on my wall. Uh, somebody remind me to do that today. <laughs> I'm going to put this back up on my wall so you have the sentence frames. Um, and it's also there. It's also here. Sentence frames uh, will be on your second page, so you have plenty of access to your sentence frame. So um, I am going to choose. Um, let's see. So this is important because because the goal of school nutrition programs is to help kids make healthy choices and presenting a sugary beverage is a step in the wrong direction. Okay, so uh, that is definitely one place you could argue this. Um, let's see. I'm going to say uh, so another place you want to say in your reasoning is you want to point out uh, if a logical fallacy is being used. So that could be one more sentence stem. So uh, they are using a logical fallacy of either or, right? That kids will drink flavored milk or nothing, right? So they're trying to do here. This is a bit of a logical fallacy that they're using. Um, the problem with this is that um, uh, this indicates indicates that kids may not like drinking milk, and uh, lacing it with sugar is not a solution. Okay. All right, so that's you know going a little farther into my reasoning. Okay, so you can point out which logical fallacy they're using. 
And so um, I think as well, the implication of this is that if um, we want kids to develop healthy habits, we cannot use sugar as a way to get there. This is an argument that I used often when I was having this, right? Uh, we would not serve caramel apples to um, increase apple um, consumption. Okay, so you guys see how this works is that your reasoning is where you're really going to want to go through and flush out what you're going to say. So you can certainly use some of the CER rebuttals. Uh, this is certainly your place you're going to want to point out if your opponent's using a logical fallacy. Okay, be a little careful with that. Um, just that, um, you know, you don't want to present your opponent's weakest arguments. You want to make sure it's an argument they would actually use, which in this case, this is an argument that they actually use. Okay. Um, so I think, uh, that's it. Once you have this, then, uh, get it checked out and then, um, you know, just, uh, let me show you how this quickly could work. File new document, right? And this turns into a, um, this turns into fairly quickly a CER paragraph. Thanks, Derry, right? Okay, this works. So, paste. Okay. And so, uh, if we were to put the counterclaim, remember we put claim evidence reason in different colors. So if we were to put the counterclaim in orange, um, and then we were to put the uh, claim, right, uh, we put the claim in green. Um, so now with your counterclaim, um, so it gets a little different, right? Or this, sorry, this is your claim. It gets a little different in that your your claim, your counterclaim is reinforcing your claim and giving an argument for it. Um, if you need, I would say that this is my evidence, right? This does not address the issue of unhealthy food choices and students. If you need to quote something from there, um, you know, find a source for you, then this is where you would do it. And then this is all of your reasoning, okay? So there you would have your claim, your evidence, your reasoning. So it is possible that your evidence could be something from your own knowledge, right? If you are addressing it, if you are unclear on how to address it, or you need to give an expert opinion, then um, this is where you would do it is here in your evidence. Okay. So I can make another example of this tomorrow, but this should get you uh, through today and through your first paragraph or two. All right. Thank you guys for listening.